Good day, everyone. Today, we're diving into the process of managing practice locations within the provider enrollment and management system, PEMS, for long-term care or LTC providers. Whether adding new locations or disenrolling old ones, it's crucial to maintain accurate information within your PEMS enrollment record. All changes, whether adding, completing, or disenrolling a practice location, would need to be done within a PEMS enrollment request. Enrollment requests in PEMS come in four types. New enrollment for providers enrolling their NPI into Texas Medicaid for the first time. Re-enrollment to reactivate an identifier previously disenrolled, typically for those who canceled their identifier or failed to revalidate. Revalidation required every three to five years to confirm or update enrollment information. Existing enrollment allows multiple field updates within one request. To initiate an enrollment request, access the NPI record, click Edit Enrollment Record, and select the appropriate request type. For today's example, we will use an existing enrollment request. Click Create Request to get started. Today, we'll focus on the Practice Location Information tab. To add a location, click Add Practice Location. For organizational NPIs, choose Facility from the drop-down menu and click Add Practice. For individual NPIs, select Yes for billing services at the location and click Add Practice. Each new or existing location requires completion of the following tabs, like Basic Information, Programs and Services Participation, Demographics, Managing Employees, and Mailing Contact Addresses. For today's example, we will complete information for an existing location. However, if you are adding a practice location, the same information would need to be reflected for each location. Let's begin by completing the Basic Information tab. Start by inputting the location name and specifying its type. Enter or confirm the address of the practice location, and then confirm or add the phone number on the bottom. This number will be displayed in the Online Provider Lookup or OPL. After completing all fields, click Verify Address and save at the bottom to finalize this tab. Now navigate to the Programs and Services Participation tab on the left. If your provider type does not require a surety bond, ignore these fields on the bottom. To open a program, click the three dots on the right. Under the program, you'll find the question, Do you wish to end your participation? Choose Yes if you wish to terminate participation with this program and provider type for this location. Remember, if you disenroll a practice location, you would still need to complete each tab within that practice location. It's crucial to maintain an accurate enrollment record. Disenroll any locations where services are no longer provided. For open practice locations, ensure all information is accurate. Update any fields as needed, then click Save on the bottom to complete this tab. To add a practice location, click Add Program and Service Participation. Select Long-Term Care from the Program drop-down and choose the appropriate taxonomy. The taxonomy determines the provider types that are displayed. If the appropriate provider type is not displaying, you may need to go to the National Plan and Provider Enumeration System to add a more appropriate taxonomy code. Since we are using home and community-based services in our example, we will select NA in the Provider Specialty and Provider Subspecialty fields. Other provider types may need to select a more appropriate option. Enter client demographics including gender and age limitations. Confirm the associated tax ID number. Medicare information isn't always required. If applicable, indicate your participation in Medicare. Answer program-specific questions. Then click Save at the bottom to finalize adding the program and provider type to your NPI enrollment record. The next tab we will complete within the practice location is the Demographics tab. Confirm the information listed is correct or make any necessary updates, and then click Save for an existing practice location. For a new practice location, enter the county where you will be servicing clients at. You can enter more than one here. If anyone speaks additional languages, you can also indicate this here. Additionally, there are checkboxes to indicate if the practice location is physically accessible to people with disabilities. Below this is an area to indicate if the practice has a website. If yes is answered to this question, you can key in your website. Please use a valid website URL when entering this. Responses to both questions will be required. 
and information entered here will be reflected within the online provider lookup. Enter your office hours and click Save on the bottom after completing all the required fields. If hours are the same for multiple days, click Apply to All and adjust the hours for any days that are different, or check Closed for any days where you are not seeing clients. Then click Save to complete the Demographics tab. Scrolling up we will now see a blue check circle, indicating that the Demographics tab has been completed. Proceed to the Managing Employees tab on the left. For existing practice locations, ensure the correct managing employee of that practice location is listed. If not, delete the individual by clicking the three dots and then selecting Remove. To add a managing employee, select the Add Managing Employee Association button. Choose a principal from the drop-down list of selected employees. This list includes principals entered in the Ownership Controlling Interest tab. Remember, each managing employee would need to be added as a principal within the Ownership Controlling Interest tab. Then select the managing employee's role from the drop-down menu, which will reflect the information entered in their principal details. Enter the start date at the location for the managing employee. Once all fields are completed, click Save at the bottom to finalize this tab. Let's proceed to the Mailing Contact Addresses tab. For enrollment into the long-term care program, a mailing and a contact address are required. For existing locations, verify the information is correct for the mailing and contact address. Click the three dots on the right and select Edit. Confirm the address is accurate, then click Verify Address. Below this, confirm the contact information is accurate and make any updates as necessary. After confirming this information, click Save on the bottom of each mailing and contact segment. To add a mailing or contact address, click Add Mailing Contact Addresses. Choose Mailing for the address type. Input the address and click Verify Address. Enter the contact information and click Save to complete the mailing address. Back on the Mailing Contact Address tab, repeat these steps. This time selecting Contact Address from the drop-down menu. Enter and verify the address and ensure the person handling the enrollment request information is listed. Click Save once all required fields are completed. You should see both a mailing and contact address listed for each practice location. Click the Back button in the blue header to return to the Practice Location Information tab. Repeat these steps as needed. Once all information is entered within the PEAMS request and all practice locations are completed or added, submit the request after electronically signing the HHSC agreement. For further assistance with any other tabs, refer to other YouTube videos or the TMHP instructional site. Thank you for your time today, and we hope you found this video useful.